Hey everyone, welcome back to the Modern Savvy CPA. Um, we're continuing our series on bad money habits that businesses have that they need to avoid or to understand that that they need to let go of together. So many of our entrepreneurs, you know, the one thing that they need to consider, one thing that you always need to consider is money management. So even if before you, you have that idea and you decided about that idea, you should be working about with your money management within your personal finance. So you want to make sure that you're bringing over those money management habits, good money management habits to your business. So they're very similar. It's just that the business is a separate entity. It's like a separate person and you're a person. You're an entity. When, when, when it comes to our government and when it comes to um, finances, there are different entities. A trust could be an entity, a business could be an entity, and a person is an entity. So you want to treat each entity as its separate I item. You want to treat each entity as a separate person, if you want to call it. So you want to make sure that you're practicing, you know, not bis mixing your, your personal finance with business finance. And there are a few reasons why you should be doing this. And there are, there are a few bad habits that we're going to try to break out of it when we're talking about this. So one of the, the reasons why you shouldn't be mixing up your personal finance and business finance is when it's time to look back in your finance or you want to understand something that happened or or how long have you paid a vendor or you know something like that you want to be able to look back it's called an audit trail an audit trail is something that you can go back and you can see what's happening that's analyzation of your books is one of the main reasons that you keep books there are several reasons but being able to go back and understand so that you don't make the mistake again is really important so it's called an audit trail if you're keeping good records good if you're if you're keeping good um, finances and and you you know you your your stuff is is clean then you're able to use your audit trail to go back and if you're mixing personal and business when it comes to your bank account when you're looking at it you won't know what is personal what is business the lines are all blurred there so we want to break out of that bad habit you know mixing that bad habit so you want to understand that that one of the ways that you start off doing this correctly is you want to make sure that when you are um when you're when when, when you're starting off your business you have a separate ein number for for your business whether it's a llc or it is a s corp or it is a partnership whatever it is you want to have a separate ein number what does that, that basically mean an ein number is like your social security number so the EIN number it's the important as important to a business as your social security number so you know when you're going out there when you're doing thing anything you do you need your social security number for it so if if that's the way the business works, the business is its own entity, it needs to have its own social security number. And that the business social security number is called an EIN number. So even if you are starting out your business and you want to be a single member LLC where it's disregarded for tax purposes, you still should have your EIN number because everything should go under your, your business. You don't know where your business is going when you first start, but you want to start it off with the idea that you are going to succeed. You start off there, and you want to be able to move forward. So if you're going to do that, then you need to start off your business setting up your entity. If it's a single member LLC, it's a sole, sole LLC and disregarded for tax purposes and you're the one owner, then and you get your EIN number and you set it up with the state. That's when, once you're done with that, you have to set up your bank account and your business credit card. So that is the second part of this. So you set up your business, you set up your EIN number, now you have your own business. Now you wanna make sure the way not to mix, mix, mix your, um, your, your business expense and your business income with your personal income is you wanna make sure that you start with your bank account and your business credit card. You know, I'm a firm believer in that a business should not be using their debit card, they should be using their credit card. Because I've seen several occasions, you know, I had a client one time, 
um, where they did use their debit card a lot and I don't know what happened and their account was frauded and like $50,000 came out of their account one, and it was a holiday weekend. The, the person took out $50,000, it was a holiday weekend, they weren't able to get with the bank, they had all these things due, it was a big issue. So I'm a firm believer, everyone has different beliefs in this or anything, but I personally believe you you should use your a business credit card and a business bank account, and you should not be using your debit card for purchases. You should be using your credit card for purchases. There are several reasons I personally do that. Is one, I like the benefits of the credit card that gives me um, protection. There are certain protection that credit cards give you. There's warranties that the credit cards give you. Different credit cards offer different things. I am a firm believer in that. I'm, I also pay my business credit card every single month. I have no balance on it. I pay it off every single month. So the credit card is not an extension of your cash. A credit card is just your replacement for your cash. So you want to make sure that, 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 that you have your business credit card and your business bank account. When it comes to, to making sure that uh, you don't mix business with pleasure, please do not mix business pleasure, business finance with personal finance. This is Sharon, the Modern Savvy CPA, and we will talk next time on the next bad money habits that businesses have and how to avoid them.